have a seat. In Margaret front. Holmes wants to find the right moisturizer. So let's put your chin right here. To help her out, esthetician Lauren Bays is about to give her a view of what's just beneath the surface of her skin. Perfect. And show Margaret the dry and sun damaged areas that may not be apparent when looking in the mirror. This is showing us fine lines and wrinkles, which are usually helped by just a little moisturizer around the eyes, anything to bring back that protective layer to the skin and penetrate the stratum corneum. The stratum corneum is the outermost layer of your skin. It's the top layer of the epidermis. Until recently, the stratum corneum wasn't considered that important. This is actually a very important and vital part of the skin. That's the part that we see either nice and glowy because it's hydrated or moisturized properly, or the part that looks scaly, that looks like fish scale sometimes we call it. The stratum corneum is made up of cells and three types of lipids. There are ceramides, which are very important. There is cholesterol. That's interesting because we think of cholesterol being in other areas, but there is certainly that's part of the lipids in the skin. And then there are the free fatty acids. Together, these lipids help form a moist protective barrier on the skin. Some moisturizers try to replace that barrier. Skin that looks well moisturized, balanced, not scaly, and that is achieved by using the right product. It may take a combination of ingredients to achieve healthy, hydrated skin. Whenever we can, I like to consider suggesting a moisturizer that would have an element of alpha-hydroxy acids that exfoliate, uh, retinoic acids that affect the turnover of the skin cells, and then on top of that, a hydrating moisture. Refining your choice of ingredients also depends on your skin type. Emily struggles with dry skin. You want to look for a couple of things in your moisturizers. Hyaluronic acid is going to bind moisture to your skin. It helps to read your labels. This product is going to show ceramides and actually tell you what they do. This other product is full of peptides, antioxidants, and green tea, which is another antioxidant. Peggy has dry, mature skin. Dr. Pere tells her she doesn't have to spend a lot to take care of it. There are a number of things at the drugstore that you can pick up a box and look at things that would have ceramides, fatty acids, antioxidants, and then if you get some nice humectants like glycerin-based products, that will be helpful as well. Esthetician Leslie Roos reminds those with oily skin like Jennifer to moisturize. If you're hydrating properly, you won't find that you are producing as much oil. Things that can traditionally be an emulsion uh, for drier skin is not appropriate for a, a, an oily skin. Don't forget, perhaps the most important moisturizer ingredient is a sunscreen.